In the morning, I got an email from Dr. Sears, and he wanted me to buy some boron to increase testosterone in men or estrogen in women. Well, obviously boron is pretty much everywhere, and you don't need any expensive supplements for it. Um, some folks online have suggested borax. This particular borax contains, of course, the element that can provide boron to your body. So what we're gonna do is simply this. We're gonna find out how much borax is in each of these servings. This is one eighth teaspoon, one quarter teaspoon, one half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and a half a tablespoon. All right, so let's open the box. Easy stuff. Okay, we're making a mess. So, I'm simply going to put, I'm going to start with the 1 8 teaspoon. Right now I have zeroed out the metric scale that'll tell us how many milligrams this is. And go ahead, let's zoom in. Mm -hmm. See, it's at zero. So, we're ready to proceed. Okay. So we're going to grab the 1 8 teaspoon and we're going to put some boron in here, or borax. Now, since we want a flat serving, I'm simply going to scrape the top part off with just a regular business card and I'm going to pour the rest on the metric scale. So the metric scale now says, let's see how much it is. Uh, 0.5 or 500 milligrams. That's of course always an approximation. All right, so 1 8 teaspoon provides 500 milligrams. Let's try something else. I'm going to pour this away. Hmm. We're going to zero out. Okay, the metric scale is zeroed out. We're going to do the 1 quarter teaspoon. Now, if we're correct, it should simply be a full gram. So we're going to again use the business card to level out the amount. And yep, we're close to a gram. Go ahead and zoom in, please. So we're just a speck over a gram. So one gram, 56 milligrams. Okay, so we're pretty much going up to half a teaspoon. So half a teaspoon we suspect will be a lot, well, a lot bigger. Ah. And here we go. Using the same business card, we're, some, we're simply going to level off the scoop and we're going to pour it on to the metric scale. So, one half teaspoon is equal to, go ahead, about two grams. In this case, 2.156. Two grams, 156 milligrams. Of course, this is always an approximation. So, it seems like it's pretty accurate, one teaspoon, we suspect it'll be about four grams. Let's find out. Pretty sure it will be. Uh, this thing's. And with the business card, we're going to level it off. Pour it on. Oof. Go ahead. So this is actually a little bit more. 4.39. Almost four and uh, almost four and a half grams. So it's likely maybe I didn't scrape off enough with the business card, but it gives you an estimate when using the borax. Okay, last but not least, half a tablespoon. Um, I'm gonna try and do this. 
it fits. So a half tablespoon is quite a bit. Nobody should ever eat this much or use this much in any way. I believe it is very detrimental. But we're just doing it to figure out how much it weighs. So I'm going to pour it here. Hopefully not make a mess. Here we go. And it is about 6 grams and a half, 6.428. All right, so now you know how much borax you can load in all these little measuring spoons so that you can figure out how much you want to put in water, whether it's in a liter or gallon or whatever you'd like, and go from there. And maybe it'll help you get all the boron you need without buying expensive supplements. Thank you. Goodbye.